how do you maximize the impact of your content? Let's talk about that with Maria Garrido and Tom McDonald, who are with us here at IBC TV. Being authentic is important. I hear that message coming through loud and clear. How do you do that? The two bits. The first bit is for the brand to really be loyal to their DNA and the strategy of their brand. And the second bit is ensuring that you translate that into a way that it adds value and it creates a content that consumers are actually looking for from the brand. And then we've got to m get this merge of content and commerce right, Tom, and that's one of the skills you do. How do you do it? Um, first point would be to pick your moment. So get people in the right frame of mind, the right mode, the right moods. Uh, persuade them that maybe buying your, your product, your service would be a good thing, and then either give them a chance to buy it there and then if it's impulse purchasable, or give them a way to make a connection with you, register or um, signpost their interest so that you can talk to them later. One of the hardy perennials was getting some kind of celebrity endorsement for your brand or your campaign. Does that still work? <laughs> it can, but it doesn't always. It's not a guaranteed success. Absolutely not, no. Why does it go wrong then, Tom? Because, again, we, we sometimes get sort of blinded by the sex appeal of bringing celebrities or the entertainment business in to our brands. And it really is about understanding what the role of the content is. In beverages, it is about entertaining people. That's what they want from you. But in healthcare and, fi and finance and insurance, it isn't necessarily about entertainment. It's about educational content, informational content. So use the celebrity, but use them in the right way for your business impact. Great to talk to you guys. Maria Grido, Tom McDonald, thank you both. Thank you.